Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called The Watch, and it stars Ben Stiller, Vince Vaughn, Jonah Hill, Richard Ayore, Rosemary D. Witt, Will Forte, Arlie Ermey, Doug Jones, and Joseph A. Nunez. The film begins in Glenview, Ohio. Evan, played by Ben Stiller, is the manager of the department store Costco and married with Abby. But when the Costco night watchman Antonio Guzman, played by Joseph A. Nunez, is mysteriously murdered. <clears throat> and after what happened, Evan organized the neighborhood watch, a watch team with with his suburban neighbors Bob Franklin and Jamarcus to protect the neighbors and find the killer of Antonio. Soon they discover that the murderer is an alien that that is prepared to invade Earth and they become the last hope of mankind on Earth. Well, it had its funny moments. Um, I, I like some of the hilarious crazy stuff with Ben Stiller, Ben Spawn, and Jonah Hill as well as Richard Oyer. Yeah, because there were a lot of F-bombs and all that other stuff in there. I, I thought they, they were very good in this film, but on the other hand, uh, I, I liked some of the special effects in the film. I thought it was pretty funny at times, like with the uh, with the machine that looks like that can actually explode, <laughs> that actually blows up almost everything, including that cow. Uh, but after a while, um, and they had a lot of references too in, in that, any movie with you know with alien invasion type movies that we've seen, but the film pretty much had a pretty much lacks with with all these other elements, and it soon started to get old after a while. Then there's too many uh, jokes involving you know penises. Why do we always have to keep getting these type of jokes nowadays in, in movies today? It's never funny to begin with. That's what happened with The Love Guru, which was a terrible film. And and it just doesn't work. They should have just, just do the usual. Shoot them in the heads. I mean, don't you think that would have worked? It didn't make any sense for that type. Other than that, though, um, I did, like, did kind of like it for a while. Um, I know a lot of people didn't care about this movie that much. I understand. It just wasn't what we expect for it. The original title, of course, was called simply Neighborhood Watch. I remember seeing that poster where it has this sign and all these green slimes started to shoot up. I, I definitely remember seeing that because I feel like it was going to turn into yet another Ghostbusters ripoff. Because, yes, we're, we're getting so many ripoffs like that nowadays. I mean, everybody remember the movie Evolution, same director too that did Ghostbusters, which was mostly, what some people say it's a Men in Black ripoff. Yeah, that that's what I thought. Men, Ghostbusters, Men in Black, you get the idea. But it was it was a different movie. Um, once again, with all this raunchy raunchiness and everything, the violence was pretty strong in the film too. I I mean even. So I knew it would earn its R rating for that. Because even for a comedy, I mean, you would imagine seeing something like this. So, <laughs> weird. But other than that, though, I, I thought it was okay. It's not the best movie I've seen, but it isn't the worst. I mean, there have been a lot of bad films out there, but I don't think this doesn't top it up, in my opinion. So anyway, I give The Watch two and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Savora, and I'll see you later. Bye.